In this video, I want to talk about what WordPress widgets are exactly, and a bit of a history of how they came about. On a website, the sidebar area is kind of an interesting place because it's almost like a mini website in itself. There'll be lots of different things going on. I mean, you can see here, we've just got some simple things, a search bar, we've got recent posts, a list of those, and a list of recent comments. We might have some advertisements, we might have social media buttons, we could have our address, all sorts of things could be on a sidebar. Now if you build those into a theme in WordPress, the user can't control them at all. They're there and you've got to get somebody to come in and change it, and if you want to add something new, it's not easy to do, and that's the idea behind widgets. Kind of like plugins. You can just plug in new functionality. Not only that, you can also move them around and reorder them. That's exactly what widgets do. Here they are over under appearance on your menu here. So these are the widgets that you can have here and there are all kinds of them. This one displays a calendar for your site's posts. Here it's a list of categories. You can have custom menus that you create in WordPress and display them on your sidebar, a list of links and so forth. It's all available here and these widgets will change because some plugins that you add to WordPress will create more widgets for you. You can even have your own widgets created, custom widgets. So there's all kinds of things you can do with widgets. Now what happened over time was people said well this is great for the sidebar but I could really use widgets other places. So for example down here in the footer area. Why couldn't we have some widgets down there? And that's where WordPress evolved and said, well, let's do that. So here are what are called widget areas, places where you can put widgets. And this will vary greatly depending on your theme. Now, this is the 2010 theme that comes with WordPress. Here's four different widget areas for your footer. So let's just quickly put something in here. Let's put a calendar into or let's just call this our uh, calendar of posts and I just save it like this. Now watch what happens at the bottom of our page. Suddenly we have some widget areas are coming alive here and that's the great thing about them. They just sit there quietly in the background. You don't even know the widget area is there until you put something in it. Now I've got room for three more widget areas along here if I want. So that's the power of widgets. And you can have custom areas put in to an existing theme. You could have someone put in a widget area for you, uh, say up at the top here, or right in your header area. Wherever you want, you can put a widget area. So that's the power of widgets and why they've become such an important part of WordPress.